as a sewer you probably find that you've got quite a big stash and you're probably quite proud of your stash and actually I think sometimes it's an excuse for hoarding so I'm going to make a commitment to actually make only things from my stash. I'm not going to buy any more fabric. So I know a lot of people do um, fabric haul videos and vlogs and sort of share what they've bought and I have so much fabric I think I need to actually use some of that fabric and stop hoarding it. So have you got a fabric stash? Are you a stash builder or is it just another word for hoarding? So I'm going to share with you, I can't quite pan over here. This is a little of my stash. I have this that I bought two years ago to uh, make a scarf. Really beautiful drapey fabric from Fabric Godmother, which would make a really nice um, top or a little um, simple dress maybe. I've only got a meter that we're having. So I think I'll make this in the next few weeks. And this is a stash busting project. Then I have two really nice pieces of lace. Now I love a white dress. This is my favorite white lace dress. It's ready to wear and it's actually on its last legs. So I've had it for seven years. So I've got some really, really nice white crochet lace. Now again, I've had this for two years and I need to make something out of this. This is from White Tree Fabrics. So I'm thinking I might use this, I don't know, maybe a shift. I'm a bit of a shift girl, but that's another piece perfect for this weather. I should be sewing out of these and not just hoarding them. I have a little bit of white or eyelet. This is left over from a project from my book and again really really nice quality. I need to make something out of this. Maybe another top. That's just one pile. Okay, I have another pile. This are some of my collection of prints. I'm not really a print girl so I've got some black and white houndstooth that I bought to make a 60s shift dress two years ago and I need to really get on with this one. Oh no I think maybe yeah this was two years ago. Uh, I have a really nice piece of Liberty lawn that uh, was an extra from a recent TV project that I worked on. Um, I have some really nice John Lewis brick cotton this was bought two years ago. There's enough here to make a pair of trousers and a shift dress. So this is just sitting in my stash. It's pre-washed. I think actually I need to get this sewn this summer. And then I have this really nice uh, paisley that I bought to make myself another pair of PJs. And it was quite inexpensive and it's just got a really nice drape. So that's pile number two. This is just my summer fabrics. I have another whole cubby hole in my shelf unit of winter fabrics. Um, this is pile number three. So these are all uh, drapey viscose. This is a really nice Talon viscose from Ditto, which I bought two years ago. I need to make some more um, kind of tapered leg trousers or maybe, maybe a jumpsuit, I'm not sure. Uh, another Italian drape viscose, really lovely quality. I've already used some of this and made something up and it's fantastic. Two years ago, two years this has been in my stash. Then I have this, which I think is an inexpensive polyester. It's not particularly lovely, but um, I might use that to twirl something I've not tried before. And then I have a black and white spot. This is a kind of, again, it's sort of like a rayon or a viscose and it's got a really nice drape and a really nice hand. And this was a pair of trousers in my book and it was gonna be another sort of easy throw on dress for me, but it's still in my pile. And then if I come to pile number four, this is a slightly smaller pile. Ta-da! There are just two pieces. So this is my knit pile and I've used a lot of my knit stash. So I've got this really nice piece from Tia Knight. It's quite a sheer, so it's really nice for this sort of time of year. And I plan to make a kind of trapeze swingy dress. So I've got enough of that. That is possibly only a year old. And this is some Spot Ponty Roma, which was going to be used to make a sleeveless version of the drapey dress out of my book and has just sat in my stash. So if I swing the camera you can see that my stash when it's just piled up really does just look like hoarding doesn't it? So what I plan to do is to only make things from my stash. 
I think sometimes we over consume even when we're buying fabric. So in our fast fashion society is constantly buying fabric and constantly making things. Is that better or is that worse than buying fast fashion? Hmm. So I'm going to leave you with that question. Is constantly buying fabric and making new clothes for yourself as bad as buying fast fashion on a turnaround of a couple of pieces every week? Hmm. I'm not going to give up making things and I'm not going to give up buying stuff but I definitely need to concentrate on using some of this massive hoard to actually make some summer clothes.